Welcome back. It's Jacqueline again. Well, as the Traveling Sisters, we obviously do a lot of traveling. We leave the U.S. usually in November and return in February or March each year, kind of depending on what's going on and what's waiting for us as we prepare for our um, artisan show schedule that runs from March to November. That's kind of how we roll. If you check out our website at www compassroseimages.com. You can view all of our wildlife photography with animals from penguins to polar bears, from pandas to lions, from snow monkeys to toucans, and from elephants to Komodo dragons. Lots of fun things to look at. But we really do not like to travel. Um, we hate the travel part of travel. If we can take a ship close to our destination, we'll take it. Um, flying is a real bummer with TSA screenings, now COVID requirements, passports and visas, long lines and crowded planes. So if we can float, you bet that we will. We just returned from Zambia, Madagascar, the Kalahari, and South Africa and had 23 flights to deal with. But we're often asked, how do we get to some of the back road areas uh, where we find unusual people and cultures and animals? Well, we'll either take vehicles if they're roads or we fly on small private planes. Getting back to see the Bushmen in the Kalahari this year was particularly interesting. So today we'll invite you to fly with us. Uh, there's plenty of room on the plane because we're the only ones on it. Um, as we go to the Kalahari, you can see what it looks like from the air. Uh, we're on a small propeller plane. Yes, our knees are kind of up in our chins, but we have a wonderful view of the desert terrain as we fly real low. Sometimes we can see animals walking. We can certainly see their trails. Lots of fun. So we do love the small planes, and when we can take them, we certainly do. But that's how we travel. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and share with anyone else who love animals and like adventure travel. Um, our future adventures will include lots of new animals. Uh, we'll continue to share with you probably each Tuesday. So we'll see you next week. Enjoy the flight. Well, we're traveling in the rainy season, so the Kalahari Desert looks a little bit different than when we were there earlier um, several years ago uh, when it was in the middle of the summer. It was quite hot and very gray, so I was really surprised to see all the green. But you can see there are no tall trees, anything like that, um, very low shrubs. Um, there's a rainstorm coming up that kind of skirt. But we're low to the ground, so we're able to really get a good view of some of the terrain. You can see some of the and maybe roads, but there are probably a lot of animal trails. Not much out here. Um, we're going to an area where it's very, very uh, remote, and you can see the desert below now. And that could probably is a road that we'll be taking later once we get to Safari. We did fly through this rainstorm a little bit more to the right. No problem. It's a little rough, but no big deal. And if you look at the outside of the front window here, you can see the landing strip just ahead of us. Again, it's in the middle of nowhere, nothing's there, but we're landing on dirt. Uh, little did we know it was going to be such an interesting landing when it turns off the engine before we land. Um, but it's a dirt runway, it's rocky, and we've got a good view of this in just a few minutes. But again, the remoteness um, of the Calabar Desert is amazing. Now, where the Bushmen live, who knows? We're just going to land and we be picked up by a vehicle and go to our camp and the next morning we'll take off and start um, investigating our um, next adventure and meet some interesting people and then we'll just really come running up with the runway. This is our pilot. Shall we buy our runway and the plane with the pilot? It's a very good pilot by the way. And it's a little bit rocky because it's windy. But you can see the dirt one way, there's nothing on here. So I'm not sure where we're going to go after the run. Oh, this is going to look interesting. Oh crap, we turned off the engine. I'm not sure why, but now we're going to land. The dirt one way is it's bumpy, holy. Fortunately, there are no animals on it, and we did take off going out of that area um, a couple of weeks later. Uh, we had to shoo away a giraffe and a couple of zebras. But this is what it's like to land in 
here's a close-up of our landing strip. Pretty nice, huh? And then a little bit further on, you'll see our terminal. We have a chair and a fire extinguisher. All right, so we're picked up by the vehicle, and now we have to go through the desert to get to our camp. It's really quite nice. It turned out to be a beautiful day. Again, this some small shrubs. Um, there could be animals hiding behind. You just don't know. We're on a mission to get to our camp. Um, so we're having a great time just looking at the side of the vehicle to see what kind of animals we can find. Now, after about an hour's drive, we get to our camp, and this is our welcoming committee. It's beautiful Deception Lodge in the middle of the Kalahari. Um, beautiful property. Uh, we had a couple water holes there with giraffes and um, zebras all surrounding us. We had a wonderful time. But the next day we get up and start our safari. So hope you enjoyed um, the flight to the Kalahari and got some views of what we see as we're flying on these small planes. So hope to see you next week. Thanks for coming and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.